Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and back to more Disney Dreamlight Valley. So we are in the Dreamlight Castle and we're in front of the Monsters Inc. Realm door. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get Mike and Sully into the village in this episode and get started on their quest lines. Alright guys, let's jump right in. All right, oh, so hello. we have got $15,000 price tag on opening this door. Well, 15,000 dream light, excuse me. Okay, escape clause, interesting. So let's go ahead and go inside. You guys, while we are heading into the realm, I need you to do me a big favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Oh, there they are! Oh my gosh. I love Monsters, Inc. Okay, examine the door to the laugh floor. The laugh flu? Did they miss the R on that one? Okay, I'm assuming that is it, but let's take a look. Let's look around, out of stock. Okay, so this is the coffee machine uh, that's part of the star path, and it looks like you can use this one. So that's good to know. Snack machines. All right, on the other side. Okay, what's this? Wazowski. Paperwork. I'm not asking again. R. Okay, any more? Ooh, okay, I see another memory right there. I see a chest in the back. So we should be able to get in this room eventually. You are scanned. A red light flashes. Access denied. Monster not identified. Employees only beyond this point. Okay, search for something to disguise yourself as a monster. Ooh, okay, so I think this will give us the opportunity to use our monster face paint and all that stuff. I keep saying face paint, but it's like skin. <laughs> Skin color, basically. All right, I think I'm gonna go... I don't know, I'm gonna go the Shrek look. So in my last little video where I kind of modeled all these different skin colors here, I used the blue. So now I think I'm gonna go with the green. We'll do that. Actually, make sure I remember which skin color I was before. All right, let's do the eyes, I guess. Yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> I think this is good, right? Skin, uh, no, not good, okay. Search for something, so, okay, I guess I'm supposed to find something else, huh? Oh, okay, now this is glowing. Yeah, guys, I am very big on not reading this stuff well enough. Did I just transfer that over? I sure did. So that clearly said search for something, not change something. All right, what do we have? Whoa, bat ears? A bunch of different ears, a hard hat. Okay, that will definitely disguise us as an employee. Put on your choice of monstrous ears in your Monsters Inc. hard hat. Okay, so I did the optional part, the fantasy skin tones and contact lenses. So we didn't actually have to do that, but we're going above and beyond. That's okay. Right, go ahead and put on the hat. Let's see, what's better? Let's do the pointed ears. They match the outfit. Okay, take a selfie once you're happy with your new disguise. Cool, cool, cool. 
Let's get the office in the background, maybe. Alright, I think that's good. So guys, I think I've heard a couple of people talk about this problem with the camera now. You can't back out unless you make um, changes. Like, if you make changes to the camera mode and you take a picture, you can't back out. But I think the issue is you have to have UI showing. Like, you can't hide UI. Otherwise, it won't move. So if you just bring the UI back up, then you can press B or whatever it is on what you're playing back out and you're good. Unlock the door. Here we go. Mike and Sully. James P. Sullivan at your service. Hey there. You must be the intern we've been waiting for. You picked a strange day to show up, though, because uh, nobody else did. We have no idea where everybody is. Mm. And we're in a real tight jam. Monstropolis needs power, but this is not a two-monster operation. Okay, how about a three-monster operation? <laughs> well, usually it takes dozens of monsters to keep this place running. Did I mention that I'm glad you're here? Look at it this way. You're going to get some hands-on experience on a laugh floor your very first day. You know, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, you're a little human-shaped. I've never seen a monster like you before. Human-shaped? I get that all the time. Do you? That's, uh, that's a relief. It's just that it's company policy. No humans on the laugh floor. If human adults knew about us, it'd be... Sheesh, I don't even want to think about it. Well, welcome to the company. I'm James P. Sullivan, CEO. But please, call me Sully. And over there, that's Mike Wazowski. I'm Mal. Uh, can I call him Mikey? Uh, if you want my advice, call him Mr. Wazowski until he tells you otherwise. Mike will like it if you make him feel like a big deal. Why don't we get you started while Mike and I figure out how to run this place with just three monsters. We had our laugh power launch party a couple days ago and this laugh floor needs a little work. We already swept up all the confetti and took down the decorations. Could you clean up the rest of the party trash and rinse away the slug slime on the floor? Those slugs know how to dance, but whew, it really leaves a trail. I'm sure there's something around here that can help you rinse the slime away. Don't worry, I've got my own tools. Nice. Well, come back and see me when you're finished. Alright. Clean the laugh floor. We've got slime puddles and party trash. Alright. So we'll go ahead and get out a trusty watering can. Cool, that worked. So we'll go ahead and find three more of those. Then we have to pick up this trash. And all we have to do is stomp on it. Alright, I think the others were on this side, so what's this? Sully, can we throw my old paperwork through the door to Siberia? Oop, got a hidden chest here. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Monsters Inc. Computer. Alright. Okay, we've got a couple more. We've got all the slime puddles now. We've got a couple more piles of trash. What's this? Monsters Inc. keycard piece. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, I'm gonna look for these last two bits of trash and I shall return. Alright guys, I just finished picking up all the trash and I ran past this thing so I'm gonna open this up and see what's in here key card piece okay so another one of these I'm gonna see if there is anything else I found some more memories and here's another you still need to turn in your old overdue paperwork Wazowski <laughs> Mike Wazowski is not trying to do this paperwork at all Oop, 
another key card piece. I'm not sure how many there are, but we've got three for now, so I'll keep looking around as I am doing these quests here. Hey there. Hey Mel. The place looks great. Nice work. Yeah, it was surprisingly easy. Glad to hear it wasn't too much trouble. Uh. Next up, would you mind fixing a coffee for me and Mike? Uh -huh. Normally, I'd grab it myself, but we're almost done with the plan to get this place up and running. I delivered my share of coffee around this place back in the day. Yeah. Anyway, it's not a good idea to approach Mike until he's had his morning brew. And I think the extra caffeine boost will help us finish the plan. <laughs> so relatable. What do you need? <laughs> I like my coffee extra strong. It takes about five times the amount of regular coffee to get it as bitter as I like it. Mike takes his with a little non-dairy screamer and as much sugar as you can add. He calls it the Wazowski Special. And hey, I think a delivery of supplies just arrived. Everything you need is over at the coffee station in reception. When you've made him, would you mind bringing the coffee to Mike? He needs his more urgently than I do. Thanks, Mel. Let's see. Okay. Wazowski Special and Sully's Coffee. Nice. All right. What's this? Oh, coffee orders. Perfect. Okay. Mike is one coffee, three sugar, one non-dairy screamer. There we go. The Wazowski Special. That's a five-star recipe. Interesting. All right, Sully said his is five times, so that should be, yeah, five coffee. Okay, there's five coffee beans. And we've got Sully's coffee. Easy peasy. You guys, who is your favorite? Sully or Mike Wazowski? Many mollusk monsters plotted pondering the paper. Many mollusk monsters plotted pondering the paper. Oh, what? Are you okay? Yeah, just doing my vocal warm-ups. Gotta get them in before I head through today's first kid door as Monsters, Inc.'s top jokester. Oh, you brought my coffee. Sully was right. You are a great intern. Okay, warm-ups are done, and I've had a delicious Wazowski special. Now the day can really begin. Prepare to observe the best jokester in the biz. Alright, excited to see you work. Hey, you called me mister. I knew I liked you. Well, since it's the first day of the internship, you are in for a real treat. Mike Wazowski is about to perform. You know how Sully said we were coming up with the plan? Well, the plan is me working my green behind off to keep this place going. Time to make him laugh. Whoa. Uh oh. That does not look good. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, stay calm. It's only a small emergency. The door powered down and Mike stuck in the human world. Oh no. Is it time to freak out now? Yes. I mean, no. No, we just have to figure this out. Since this is, is an emergency, we need the emergency manual. Mift usually keeps a copy of the emergency manual somewhere on each laugh floor. I need you to find it. Alright, I'll find that manual right away. I'm gonna check out the electrical panel, see if I can get it working. Remember, you're looking for the emergency manual. Alright, so anywhere... Could it be in reception? Was that that big, this book right here? Nope. It was not. So I guess it is out here somewhere. I guess we'll kind of run around the desk, see if there's anything glittering. Oh, there it is right there, I guess. Okay, let's give this to Sully. Good to see you. The emergency manual, excellent. Let's see here. It says that red lights mean a couple of fuses have blown and need to be replaced. All we have to do is replace the fuses and check the power lines. We'll save you, Mike. That's right, help is on the way. 
I'll keep reading in case there's anything else we need to know. Could you search the lab floor for some new fuses and place them in the electrical panel there? When the power's on again, check the power lines to make sure it's all flowing properly. That should fix the door and get Mike home. I'm really glad you're here, Mal. I definitely couldn't change these dainty parts with these huge paws. Okay, so we need to find fuses. Where in the world am I supposed to find fuses? It's a lot of electrical stuff down here. I thought I saw something glitter. Oh, no, <laughs> that was Sully. Y'all, oh, is this one? Yes, and another memory. What if all that paperwork accidentally fell through a door shredder? Oh my gosh. Dude, just do the paperwork. So I think the electrical panel, no. How did I miss this? Y'all, I swear I came over here. I think there are supposed to be three. Okay, there's the second one. So, yeah, definitely three. And I guess these are the power lines that we have to make sure are flowing. But I'm going to find the other fuse first. Oh, here we go. Alright, good deal. So, everywhere that the lines are disconnected. Bring those back together. Whoops. Alright, this is easy enough. And some of these you have to move the canisters out of the way first. But there we go. He's free! You! You got me out! You saved me! Are you okay? Me? I'm great. But sheesh, am I happy to be back. When I couldn't open the door to the monster world, I knew Sully and you were hard at work trying to get me out. I said to myself, Mike, stay calm. Then I used the opportunity to try out some new stand-up material. Normally, I don't have time to do more than a type 5. I'm telling you, that kid was laughing so hard, their parents woke up. You got me out just in time. Great to have your... Great to have you back, Mr. Wazowski. Hey, after all you've done for me, call me Mike. You know what? I'm sweating up a monsoon here. I need some time to center myself before I get back to work. Go check in with Sully while I get back in the zone. Whew. Hey, Mel. Thanks for all your help rescuing Mike. Things got a little hairy there. It sure took it out of me. After everything required to get the factory switched over to laugh power, and now this, I could use a vacation. You know, not all monsters could handle themselves under pressure like that. Okay, Sully, don't freak out, but I'm a human in disguise. Sorry, what? I didn't want to trick you. It was the only way onto the laugh floor. You must be a pretty special human to trick our security gate. So, uh, why are you here? To invite you to visit Dreamlight Valley. Dreamlight Valley? Never heard of it. It's where I come from. Actually, it would be a great vacation spot for you. Uh, there's no work and no paperwork. Well, that does sound pretty great. Hmm, hearing Dreamlight Valley does give me a familiar warm feeling. Tell you what, Mal, I'm pretty sold on this idea. I really need a break, but I can't go without Mike. If you can convince him to join me, we'll come visit the valley. Should be an easy pitch. You did rescue him after all. All right, I'll talk to Mike. Okay, escape clause is complete. Now we've got eye on the prize. So we've pretty much got Sully convinced to come with us. Now we just have to get Mike on board. Don't say a word. I heard everything you said to Sully. You're a human? I, uh, I gotta admit, I freaked out a little at first, but now that I've had some time to think about it, you're a human with an opportunity for a vacation to some place called Dreamlight Valley. And boy do I need a vacation. There's just one problem. I can't leave. Yet. You know, I already set the all-time laugh record. So what's the problem? 
If I take a vacation, some other monster could break my record while I'm on the beach pretending to read a book, but really asleep. I can't let that happen. I've got to set a jokester record nobody can ever beat. You understand, right? Yeah, let's do it. As Senior Co-President of Monsters Incorporated and Chief Executive Vice Deputy Administrative Director of Comedy Resources Management, I hereby officially promote you from intern to jokester assistant. First order of business, we need doors, which means we need key cards. Okay, key cards? <laughs> Write this down. Oh, yes. Key cards tell the system which doors to the human world to bring us. Once you find a couple of those, we're in business. Currently, all the key cards are at reception, so start there. Just one problem. We don't have a receptionist today, and that door is jammed up. So you might have to find something to jimmy it open. Jimmy the jam door. Okay. <laughs> nice rhythm. Alright, so I'll have to find some way to get in here. Door still out of order. Tools are missing. Maybe they're in the last floor tool chest. Alright, I saw that in the back, the very back room, or back of this room. So straight ahead. Miffed toolkit. Now we did find those key card pieces. I'm assuming we're gonna have to put those together somehow. Uh, I guess at a I guess at a craft table. All right, can we get in? Yay, we got in. Let's see what's back here. More doors, but we can't interact with those. Got a chest, <laughs> Mike and Sully, and just Sully. Can I interact with these? No. All right, we've got another memory. You do know in the time you wrote all these, you could have filed your paperwork. That is true. It's rude to read other monsters' sticky notes, Roz. <laughs> Talk to Sully. Paperwork is a CEO problem. Ooh, okay, we only need one more of these. But uh, here is one key card. If there's anything else in here. No, I guess that's it. Hey, you found the key cards we need. That's great. Come on, let's get those doors. Gosh, we need to go through a door. All right, perfect. We got doors. Let me have a look at the files that came with those key cards. You know, the files with information on how to make the kid behind each one of those doors laugh themselves silly. Uh, yeah, there were no files. How am I supposed to work without intel? No files, no laughs, no breaking records. Sully's vacation will be ruined. His face does not match this sentiment at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, slow down. I am your jokester assistant, and we will figure out a way to do this. Hmm. Why don't I make new files? New files? That's preposterous. That's absurd. Make new files, how? I'll sneak into the kids' rooms while they're still empty and see if I can find clues about what would make each one laugh. That's genius. I knew you'd be a great jokester assistant. Don't worry, Mike. I'm on the case. I'll search for clues in each of the rooms. Okay, let's head to door F2 first. Okay, I guess this one. Enter the door in bay F2. Ooh. Okay, search for clues. All right, I guess we are just looking for anything that says interact. Uh, is that a... Here we go. A child's drawing of a ringmaster's hat and a wand. Oh, child's drawing of a circus elephant. Okay. And given the wallpaper, the rugs and stuff, I guess this kid likes the circus. 
a child's drawing of a circus clown. All right, cool. Oh, look at the little Simba lamp. I still have yet to use that, but it is awfully cute. Hey Mike, I found these drawings. This kid really likes the circus. A circus fan, huh? Sounds like they'd enjoy the big top banana peel slip and split. <laughs> It's an over-the-top routine where I pretend to slip on a banana peel and boom, land in a split. Very technical. Okay, now check door F3 for clues. Okay, I like the vibe in here. Take photos of clues in the room. Alright, let's get the camera out. Okay, so I see space here, space stuff here. I'm assuming this kid likes outer space. See if that worked. I can't really see the messages covering up the numbers, but I think that does say one. So we'll try this poster. Okay, now I can see. And only, it's still only saying one. Oh, we've got stars. Okay, that's two. Maybe this book? Is that SR Space Ranger? Okay, talk to Mike Wazowski. Okay, so that was it. So the stars on the ceiling, I think. This picture and then the Space Ranger little manual there. Let's have a look at these photos. Space? This kid is into space. I got it. I'll make this one laugh with some knock-knock jokes. Out of this world knock-knock jokes. <laughs> okay, on to the next room. Right, last room, Mal. You're doing great. I really want to finish strong, so I need a guaranteed laugh. Why don't you bring me a clue from the room? Don't worry, I'll put it back. Search the room for a physical clue. This kid is gross. Oh, is this it? This room is a mess. There's enough clothes on the floor here for a bulldozer or a shovel. Clean it up, please, mom. XOXO. Yeah, we definitely not be just leaving a note. Let <laughs> me get your tail in here and clean up now. All right, we've got the whoopee cushion. We'll give this to Mike. A whoopee cushion, huh? Oh, I know exactly how to make this kid laugh. A whoopee cushion means the kid must be a connoisseur of gassy jokes of all kinds. I'm going to burp the biggest burp in the history of burps. That'll definitely help me smash my last record to smithereens. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yep, it's going to make my record unreachable. Okay, jokester assistant, this is the big one, the mother load. This burp needs bass. It needs power. It needs vibrato. I've got two tokens here. I need you to bring me one can of soda from each of the three vending machines around reception. They'll all add a little something extra to this burp. Wait, you say two tokens, but you want... Yeah. Kid, if you want to be a jokester, you got to use the tools you have at your disposal. Improvise. Get one soda from each machine. Improvise. Got it. Okay, so we need red, blue, green. Well, I know these two. Okay, this is red. Ooh, popsicles. Can I take those two or no? All right, there's the red. It's not letting me interact. All right, let's find the green one. I think that was here can't interact with this one either. Ooh. Uh, there we go. So do I have to hit the other one too? No. Oh. Let's... Oh, okay. The power wasn't on. My goodness. And some sweet slush. I feel like I should be taking this stuff, but maybe I'll just come back for it. 
But let me go ahead and see what this pouch, or what's in this pouch real quick. Monster mug rack. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I'll definitely use that. Alright, Mike. Drink these sodas and let's get a good burp here. This cola concoction is the key. Mal, we're about to make history, and I owe it all to you. Bottoms up. Watch the master at work in this spectacular three-for-one performance. Here we go. <laughs> Aw. Alright, kid number two. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a good burp. We did it! Look at that! We beat it by miles, by kilometers, by whales! <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. Thanks, pal. Couldn't have done it without you. Well, I could have done most of it, but definitely not all. Yep. My burp tank never fails. Well, it's time to head to Dreamlight Valley, right? Almost. There's one last thing I gotta take care of. In the meantime, maybe you could check on our hotel room? House? Beachside bungalow? We're not picky. Just be sure it's someplace nice. <laughs> Sully works so hard. He deserves a head start on the R&R. &R. <laughs> nice. All right, so that's it. We just have to place their house and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, guys, I am in the forest. I'm not sure how big their house is. So I just came up to where I have the most space available. I'll go ahead and put this house down. Mike and Sully's apartment. Oh, that's huge. I'm just going to put it there. That's good for now. And let's unlock it. Hey, the monsters are coming back, are they? Curious lad, sure. But good friends to us all. 20,000 gold. <laughs> Here it is. Here's their apartment. Is this the same building from Monsters University? It's been so long since I've watched those movies, I can't remember. Hey, there's Sully. Okay, we've got Sully here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. This place is pretty amazing. About as amazing as you and Mike breaking that record. And, hold on. Mal, I've been here before, haven't I? I'm starting to remember. It looks the same, but you, you've grown up so much. Wow, I think I really missed you. Even if I didn't actually remember you or the valley. It's like there's this part of me that feels welcomed. Aw, you big softy. Well, Mike always says I'm a sentimental furball. Speaking of, he stayed behind to take his new jokester of the month photo. Could you check on him? That guy has a hard has as hard a time with the whole work life balance thing as I do. All right, let's go. Hey Mike, Sully said you were getting your picture taken for the jokester of the month wall. Well, I was trying to, but I can't find the tripod and my arms are too short to capture all of this magnificence. Don't worry, I'll take your picture. Hey, you jump in too, Mal. We're a team, you and me. All right, nice, so we'll take a selfie with Mike Wazowski here. All right, I think that's good enough. I think he was about to blink, but <laughs> it's okay. Wow, this is a great photo. You really captured the essence of a monster record holder. Mal, you're the best intern slash assistant slash travel director I've ever met. Hey, what are we sticking around here for? Let's go see this dreamlight valley I've heard so much about. 
All right, that was easy. We've got Mike unlocked. Let's welcome him to the valley, you guys. All right, and there he is. So let's check in. Wow, this place is great. Huh, I remember that big blue valley sky and those birds and, oh no, <laughs> that pollen. Are you okay, Mike? Sure, sure, yeah. It's just allergies. How'd I deal with those before? I can't remember. Anyway, thanks for bringing us here, Mal. Sully really needed a break. Don't mind me. I'll see you around. Best jokester assistant ever. Alright, you guys. Eye on the prize. So we have officially got Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. in the valley. We've got their house down. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside. We'll let those guys get settled in and we are going to look inside their house. Alright, take another little look at the exterior here. It's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks like a straight up dorm room. I really have to watch Monsters University again. Because I think think this was their room? I honestly can't remember. I like that picture. I hope we get that as a decorative item. I definitely need that. So it looks like Sully, Mike, and Boo. It's the top of her costume anyway. Yeah, that's a really nice room. I like that a lot. I think that's one of the best houses so far but there you have it guys that is it like I said we've got Mike and Sully here we've got their house we have what's next all right we've just got friendship quests so we already talked about Donald and Ursula's those are still locked so we'll have to uh, further our relationships with Sully for both of those and then we have to get up to level two friendships with both Mike and Sully and we can get started. But all right, you guys, that is it. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.